Welcome everybody to our first MIAA student athlete spotlight interview of the year. Uh, I'm Lawrence Beamer. I am the MIAA athletic media and communications intern, and I'm here with our esteemed guest, Brett Carlisle from Adrian, Car uh, Adrian College. Welcome, Brett. Hey, Lawrence. Thank you for having me. I appreciate uh, you uh, taking the time to uh, have me on here. So Brett, you're a cross country runner. So what is that sport like? I know we see a lot of people running out, outside right now, especially trying to get out of the house um, with COVID-19 a little bit, but you've been doing that for quite some time now. So explain that sport to some of us who have, who aren't really into it, so to speak. Cross country has been a part of my life since I was about a sixth grader in middle school. Um, so I think it's about eight years, eight or nine years. So I've been running for quite a, quite some time. So, um, Cross country is, it's a tough mental sport. Like, yeah, it takes a lot to be a cross runner. Uh, you have to be very dedicated to what you do. Um, not to mention, you also have to be like, have the right mindset. So sp speaking a little bit about the MIAA, what is it like uh, being a D3 student athlete? Being a D3 athlete, uh, student athlete, uh, it takes a lot of work because uh, right now I am, we about have double practices about four days a week. Um, and it like takes a toll on, uh, on your body and your mind usually. Um, so being um, a student athlete means you have to have, to have like dedication to your schoolwork, but also to your sport. But there's definitely enough time. Uh, people probably think being a student athlete, there's not enough time to do stuff, but there definitely is enough time to uh, do other things while being a student and an athlete at the same time the whole student athlete routine can be um, pretty demanding. So what are some things outside of cross country and just sports in general that help you um, just settle down, relax, um, fun hobbies you might do? Describe some of those to us. I usually spend my time uh, hanging with friends here at Adrian, uh, my teammates usually, um, and then also hanging all around with, um, spreading out and hanging around with other people. Uh, also hanging out with my girlfriend usually is a big one. Uh, watching movies, I love watching movies. Um, usually the com comedy type of guy, maybe action sometimes. Feels like there's not enough hours in the day sometimes to do a lot of things because of uh, doubling up practices and stuff like that and doing classes all day and homework and stuff, but we make it work somehow. And it's, I, I love it actually. And being a college student, it's great. What are some challenges that you have faced as a cross country runner and how did you overcome that? Whether it was um, while you were in an event or just the life around it? Uh, a couple of times I've uh, had to drop out of a race uh, before uh, because uh, one of them was about a heat, like a heat exhaustion type of race. It was like super hot one day. Uh, it was back in high school, man. I, sometimes you just don't want to keep going, but then you find a reason why you want to keep going. So what are some things that uh, tricks of the, the trade that you've learned uh, while doing both a sport and maintaining a high grade point average? Running has kept my mind right to keep my grade point average up. Um, it reduces running reduces a lot of stress because you get your um, you get your heart rate up a lot um, and you get your adrenaline going. Um, i I feel that like coping both of those at the same time is what has made me be able to obtain a high grade point average. Um, and um, running just has definitely helped me uh, reduce stress about schoolwork and about tests and stuff like that and exams that have come up. Uh, it, it just makes your mind right and clears your mind up too, so. Well, wonderful. Well, thank you, Brett, so much. It was a pleasure talking to you. Uh, good luck on all your future endeavors, and we will be cheering you on. Yeah, thank you very much, and thank you for having me. I appreciate it.